Right, we've had the um, the players' trophies and a big congratulations to all those that have won. Um, thoroughly earned in everybody's case after uh, being quite a, a hard season for everybody, especially with the weather we had for probably five months of the season. So um, well done to everybody. I won't um, look over the top, Jack, because I know you um, you don't like me doing that, so... I'll take my glasses off and we'll go on to the um, the main club cup winners, trophy winners for the season. Um, we'll start off with the Burt Todd Cup, which is awarded to the hardest working social member of the season. Um, and this trophy has been awarded to um, a man that has done a lot of work for the last 12 months in trying to get and obtaining grants for us to get stuff done at the club. Um, he's worked very hard all through the season on doing that as well as being on the committee and um, doing the scoreboard for home games on a Saturday. So uh, a big well done to Derek Farker. Well done Derek. This year's Burt Todd Cup winner. The next trophy is the ladies' trophy, the Colonel Bone Cup, for the hardest working lady throughout the year. Very close this year. In fact, there was only one vote in it. Um, but this lady, for the last several years, has brought in thousands of pounds in revenue via the vice presidents. Um, she works very hard. Um, and this year's winner is Mrs. Jackie Ellis. So well done, Jackie. Fully deserved. And a big thank you also to the person who was just runner-up by one vote. And that's Caroline Farker. Uh, you all know Caroline. She's behind the bar. She's on the committee. And she also does the scoreboard on a Saturday for us. So well done to both, but especially to Jackie for winning this year's Colonel Bone Cup for the hardest working lady. The next trophy for this season is the Keith Napier trophy which is awarded for outstanding achievement or work within the club. Uh, this year's award is a joint, they're joint winners. Um, and the two of them over the last probably four years, certainly three years, have put so much work into writing what is an extremely good book on the club's history over the last 150 years. So well done to James Morrison and Jeff Bully. Um, I think they fully deserve this because uh, the work they've put in has been outstanding. So well done to both. Well done. The penultimate trophy is um, the Chairman's Tankard, which is my personal ch choice for outstanding services on and off the field during the season. Um, I think this was probably going to be awarded to this person way back before Christmas, because we haven't seen an awful lot of him since Christmas. Um, but from probably last May right through to November time, 
This person put in so much work at the club. Painting, cleaning, repairing, anything that we wanted doing, he was doing it. Um, so it's great pleasure to me to award the Chairman's Tankard for outstanding services to Kevin Hagley. And I don't think anybody can dis dispute that he fully deserves that award. Well done, Kev. The last trophy of the evening is the Foundation Cup, which is for the hardest working member in the club throughout the season. And this year, because of the, uh, how the voting's gone, it will be shared between two members, uh, one of whom you don't see very often, certainly the players don't, except on a Saturday when he watches, because he's down here during the week at all hours and on Saturday mornings. And the other one you do see a lot of, and I make no excuses, that um, one of the co-winners is myself. So I thank everybody that voted for me. But the other winner, co-winner, is Ivor Pengeli. Um, I don't know why, but he's never won this trophy before. And for all the years that he's put in so much work down here, I'm surprised, but... Um, when I looked, he hadn't. So this year's Foundation Cup is shared between Ivor Pengeli and myself. Thank you. What can I say about Charlie? Well, since I've joined the club, he must have given out his last pair of socks and shorts about three dozen times at least. He is definitely stingy on the stash. The bloke loves an oggy oggy. There's no doubt in that. But he is always down the club grafting, so it is nice to see he's getting a bit of plaudits. Well done, Charlie. Uh, huge congrats to Bertos on winning the award. I think everyone down the club can see uh, how much of time and effort he puts in to help it run and be a success and hopefully you can choose someone other than Vickers to be man of the match next season. Charles, congratulations on a very well deserved award and thanks for your hard work, not just this year but every year, it's absolutely outstanding. One quick question though, are we ever going to be allowed to wear matching shorts and socks? Congratulations on the award Bertos, looks like you finally pipped Kev Agley to the post this year. Um, well done for all the hard work you put in down the club. I'm not going to ramble on because this is my like 15th take and I feel like I'm going to have to twat in front of this camera. So well done. Keep up the good work. Um, yeah, that's it really. Peace out. <laughs>